Happening today, the suspect in the Highland Park, Illinois mass shooting will face a judge in bond court. That hearing will be via Zoom. He already faces seven counts of first degree murder charges, but authorities expect dozens of additional charges centered around each victim. He also wounded 38 others, including four children. CBS 2's John Diaz joins us now with more on what we are learning about the suspect. John. Well, Mary and Alice investigators have revealed the suspect legally bought five guns, including two high powered rifles, and had been planning his attack at this 4th of July parade for weeks. We are now learning the names and seeing the faces of some of the seven victims who were killed in the Highland Park mass shooting. Two of the youngest parents whose child is now an orphan, but it's also the stories of survival that are hard to digest. Those considering themselves lucky, but forever traumatized. I just keep thinking that could have been us. How did we survive? Like, why did we survive? Natalie Lorenz, her husband, and children were sitting just inches away from those less fortunate and didn't make it home. It used to be like a freak occurrence, and now this is not. This is commonplace. This is a fact of life. This is the world that we live in right now and that we are raising our kids in, and it's not okay. Tuesday, prosecutors charged the suspected gunman, Robert Bobby Cremo III, with seven counts of first-degree murder, which carry a mandatory life sentence without the possibility of parole. Detectives say he was disguised in women's clothing when he dropped the gun and walked to his mother's house. It's very clear to investigators he attempted to blend in uh, with the rest of the victims who were fleeing the scene. Police say the 21-year-old suspect fired more than 70 rounds with a high-powered rifle from a rooftop near the 4th of July parade route after he allegedly took his mother's car and drove for eight hours, crossing state lines to Wisconsin before returning to the Chicago suburbs where he was arrested. Police found a rifle in his car along with four other firearms, all of which he legally owned. New evidence suggests that in 2019, the suspect was flagged for a attempted suicide and threats of physical violence. Police confiscated 16 knives from his home, but he was still legally allowed to buy the firearms. Cremo's uncle claims he saw no warning signs. There's no indication that I've seen at all that would, would, would lead up to this. I am so sorry. I'm, uh, from the bottom of my heart, and I'm, I'm heart, very Heartbroken. Authorities are now investigating the suspect's social media accounts, which include videos glorifying mass shootings. Tuesday, Vice President Kamala Harris visited the grieving community. The whole nation should understand and have a level of empathy to understand that this can happen anywhere. And the AR-15 style gun the suspect used to carry out this shooting allegedly is how authorities say that they were able to track him down. Mary. John, thank you.